bowling sharpish as uh, Bofu is doing, then you've got to be pretty accurate if you're going to go on the pads. And even a little bit of a deflection off the bat or the pads is going to go for runs, go for boundaries. You've already seen New Zealand do it. Oh, that's very well played. That's a lovely cover drive. Well, I mentioned that this outfield was beautiful. Have a look at that one roll. Looks like an orthodox. Oh, there's a little bit of a mix up and back comes the throw, but they recovered quickly there. There was a there was probably a yes and a no. And I think importantly, hadn't got the no out uh, very early when he saw when he saw Watson starting to get into top gear, sent him back quickly. And uh, that must have been pretty close to the stumps. The, just judging by the way that uh, the keeper had responded there, did that hit the stumps? The bales perhaps not fall off? Let's see if we can pick it up. We'll have a look in a moment. It's 32 for none. Yeah, Haddon got himself into a bit of a tangle. It does look as though it's come to rest against the middle stump. Got the inside edge onto his, uh, onto his, the inside part of his thigh, and it has hit middle stump. Obviously not very firmly. Surrounded by Africans here, with Tony Greggs moved out. Alastair Campbell, former Zimbabwean captain, and that'll be a boundary to uh, to Watson. Yeah, Alistair Campbell, former Zimbabwean captain, uh, moves into the commentary position. Good afternoon, Alistair. Afternoon, uh, Chapelli. Yeah, Australia going along 36 for no wicket, a boundary there. Just straying onto the leg stump, Christopher Mpofu. And Shane Watson helping himself, finding up in the circle. So once he got it past him, Raymond Price is the man there. Bludgeoned away over mid-wicket. Too short from Mpofu. Prosper Sayer getting in very close at mid-wicket. Had no chance. Watson, well, is this the time that the floodgates open? It's one reason why he's so hard to stop. It looks as though Mpofu attempting to bowl off cutters. Just rolling his wrist a little bit. But Watson will drive you down the ground if you over-pitch. That's over mid on. Be another boundary. This time Haddon into the act. So two boundaries already conceded. Watson, both of them. This occasion Haddon just giving himself a little bit of room and bludgeoning it over mid on. Yeah, he doesn't like to be kept quiet for too long. The Australians trying to cut loose in this particular over. Just one ball remaining. He's got to make sure that uh, they just finish it well or as well as they can. Well, that's over mid off. That's another boundary. 17 off that over from Mpofu, 49 for none. Very sweet timer of the ball, Brad Haddon. And you see there, he I mean, it's not even a full follow-through. Just a couple of steps down the pitch and sort of a three-quarter follow-through. And yet it, it bounced just inside the rope. Very, very sweet timer of the ball. He's one of those guys, he walks out to the crease... Uh, it's uh, very well fielded. I thought for a while he had found the gap. A lot of air given by Itsaya and Craig Irvin. Both batsmen will be keen to bat through as well. Ah! There's a big appeal. Now very vociferous from Tatenda Taibu behind the stumps. And uh, it's going through his mind. He's going to the captain. He's got a little smile. Uh, where is he going to put his money where his mouth is? Yeah, he's called for it. An LBW call. First look at uh, the no ball. Well, that's uh, clearly behind the line, so no problems there. That's uh, the first area that uh, the third umpire will have a look at. And then we'll have a look uh, at where it hit. And there we go. Well, well, naked eye. That uh, looks to be pretty adjacent. And this will give us a better idea from Hawkeye. It did turn. Well, the impact was in line. And uh, it is hitting. Uh, halfway up uh, middle and leg. 
So uh, what will come back to the on-field umpire is that uh, it is the impact is in line. It is hitting the wicket. And uh, I think you might find that there will be a reversal here. Yep, the uh, umpire is now communicating to the third umpire and there is a reversal. He's out. That's the end of Brad Haddon. Had the decision reversed and it was quite clearly out when we had the uh, benefit of television. Yeah, he went to his captain to, to tend to tie. We said, I think we should review this. It looked out to me, put his money where his mouth is, and has been successful. Brad hadn't gone for 29. Well, one of the. Ratawal, hatali ekatat wedding ane nak sanchar ekaran. Ape manchi super cream packer. Super kian ni nikah ni wey. ලංකාවේ <laughs> Siddha Lepa Nisa Denna Mata Putuma Sani Pai Adde Nino Nipolak Adde Vashi Karai Mage Maudi Ma Mage Mai Mage Paranala Maudi Mai Maha Barada Pichati Ai Mage Jagrahi Sri Lanka Pilot Jati Upahari Putukar Sidini Jati Kajanga Mudurakatana Jalia Mobitel Lika Always Adre Nam Mobe Yotukamai E Reka Kenma Apaki Vyapari Kameva Reka Varnei Asian Alliance Insurance Senasim Samada He Nim Bino in Sepatani dagan Ninde Sepaninde Venasa Apico Meta. Well, one of the legends of the game at number three, the Australian captain Ricky Ponting, the most capped World Cup player. And uh, that's 40 matches he's played in World Cup cricket. The age of 36 has been out with an injury, a finger injury, as Ricky Ponting. And uh, now back to lead the fight for his country. The Zimbabweans are on the attack. Oh, misfield. Be upset with himself, felt into Gumbura. Every little run, it counts. Everything's happened pretty quickly here. The over rate, 16.4 per hour. That's a long way ahead. It's more than more than two overs ahead. Nearly three. Shot, very good shot. Hit very hard down the ground. Watson's a strong lad, and he's got it away for four. Well, this is the Watson we're used to seeing over the past year or so. Been in terrific form. He's got a great technique, but he's also got immense power. Through. It's a fast outfield. It'll be a tough chase for Prospo Tseya. He'll haul it in. It's a really good start, this first half of the over. Getting... Six runs. Yeah, beautiful touch by the captain. Just waiting for that ball, running it off the face of the blade. And they're beating. Good shot, very good shot. What a way to get to 50. Beautiful work. And what's it? Lauded by the change room. 98 for one. Just recently by Ricky Ponting, who's also started very well. And that's the shot that got him to 50. Great power through extra cover. 
but in times past has been a good wicket taker. Oh, doesn't start well. It's the third wide of the innings. Brings up the hundred. Fifth bowler is always important, and how he goes to determines who it is who bowls the overs. Well, too straight on that occasion. Watson clipping that away to the leg side, and it's beaten the fieldsman down there at deep backward square. And, uh, he picks off a four, beautifully timed off his pads. Very nice shot. Well struck. That's very well struck. It's a big one. It's gone out the park. Six runs. And this man believes in his power. So uh, the previous delivery was uh, slightly tossed up. And Ponting was down the pitch. And now the uh, bowler trying to compensate. Bowled a flat one. And uh, Watson was waiting, waiting for it. The 50 partnership coming with that massive six from uh, Shane Watson. Single to finish, 12 off this over. 119 for one. Well, very quick to transfer his weight onto the back foot. That's a big hit. That is a long, long way. And again, finer this time. Can he get there? No, it's gone for four. 129 for one. Well, that over was uh, just the kind of uh, push that uh, the Australians needed. Already the previous five overs, uh, they had been uh, scoring uh, pretty quickly. And now this over will certainly have helped them. Pretty ordinary bowling by bowling at the pads. Sean Williams, left arm orthodox. Way down the leg side, and that uh, should go for four. Yes, it will. So, not a very good start for Williams. Yes, he dragged the ball down and on the leg stump as well. Just what Shane Watson was looking for. Didn't try to hit it in the air again, hit it just along the ground. from uh, Tatenda Taibu in particular it looked to me as if Kramer decided to go with him but uh, I think it was probably uh, just slipping down the leg side well I think uh, what uh, the umpire will be looking for is whether the ball hit the pad first as well I think uh, they have uh, gone uh, for the referral yeah, that's, um, that's obviously what they're calling for, I'd, I'd suspect. Let's see, did it hit the pad first? And, um, my feeling was, looking at it, that uh, it did hit the pad first. But that uh, that's not the one that's going to show us. I think that one really just shows where the ball's pitching and it's following through. So, based on um, what we've seen so far, there we are. There's the, uh, up goes the finger. And uh, that's the end of Watson... That's a very, very important wicket. Watson is playing very well. He is beginning to loosen up as well. 79 to Watson. So he's uh, on his way back. LBW to Kramer. 92 deliveries. 